Hello and welcome back to the Leander98 channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to solidify an object in Blender so then we can actually 3D print it. So as we can see right here, this model is very thin and also very low poly might I add. It's very thin. So obviously if I were to, you know what, let's jokingly do this. Nah, we're not going to do it because it's going to take too long. But I was going to throw this on the slicer of the printer and see what would happen. First, it would probably yell at me saying that the object is not not solid. Which, yes, it will do that. So, how do we do this? It's actually very simple. However, there is some things that we will have to go over. So right now, we want to come over to our little wrench here. And we're going to go to add modifier. Going to click on this. And we are going to come down to solidify. So now that we just saw the inside of our object here become light. Because now we actually have a solid object. Now what is a good size to print it at? Well that is something that you will have to know from your slicer load it up here so if I were to go into my slicer settings we go into structures and we see on infill my shell thickness is 0.7 now so that would make perfect for the thickness of this for when I do it to be 1.4 so we'll input 1.4 and it actually looks really good I'm actually surprised I'm not getting any of the problems that I was purposely brought this car for Hold on. There we go. Okay, so obviously at some point, this <laughs> this might happen, but uh, we'll keep it at 1.4. It's a thick boy. Why did it, why did it round it down? There we go. 1.2. Okay, is it having any of these problems? So far, no. But that would be uh, contradictory to what happened when... Well, let's see. That contradictory to when... I, I don't want to save over this. You know what? Hold on. I can't save. File open. See, if I come to my actual official one that I made that's all high poly, we had this slight issue to where this is now extruding out past here. Absolutely, well, there is a reason why, and it kind of sucks. Actually, is it going to do that the entire way through? Why? I don't know why it does that. Just put it on, oh, what if I did point 0.1? Okay, not point 0.1, point 0.5. Okay, it does it at point 0.5, but apparently on my... Thing it doesn't. Okay, wow. So much for giving you an actual <laughs> good video. Well, anyway, I can come here and we have it solidified. So let's see. Export. We are actually going to show. Export. Let's see. Test. Test. Apparently, we have cat locks on. Okay, so we have our thing there and we are going to load this in. It's actually going to be really small. And also, in proportion to itself, because usually these get made wider than, at least in scale. So now we have it solidified, and I might say, this isn't giving us any crap. It is actually able to go through and slice up pretty good. So many triangles. So yeah, cute little print, able to do it really fast and very affordably. And again, most of the filament used here is probably from supports. Okay, so that's that problem. How about what one of my, my viewers commented about, well, as we saw, 
this. Well, what causes that, go back to 1.4, is that there is, actually we are getting a little bit of it right here. Look at that. Is that, well, in this case right here, we have, might even be, yeah, it might even be from here. But what it is, oh my, I'd love to show you with my fingers, but that's not going to work. But let's see, this right here is extruding. It's going down. And the thickness of it is going down enough to where it is crossing over. Actually, with the fact that it is going away from this, it looks like it's coming from this. Which can make sense, because that's such a sharp angle right there. So we'll drop that. Because what happens is that these corners will... It's not just going to extrude literal yeah actually straight because in that case this flat part right here would be going through here however that's not the case so let's see so what happens is that this this and this will start closing in on each other till it's just like this little tiny rectangle here and then once that's filled then they'll start distributing in different locations so how do you keep that from happening well, because this just so happens to be a perfectly located thing, we might as well test it. So, let's grab this. So basically what you have to do is work on the draft angle. You have to try and keep the angle to a minimal so it doesn't actually collide. Basically, now is there an actual way in Blender to... Dang it. Keep that from happening. Like, can I modify anything over here? Well, let's take a look, actually, prior. So our first thing in the modifier is flip normals. We don't want to do that. <laughs> let's keep it how it is. Even thickness. Uh, that looks like it does something awful. <coughs> it doesn't like even thickness. Uh, what is this, high quality? Well, still got that garbage right there. Only rim? Well, as we can see here, it's only done the rim. And that's not gonna work. Christ on the bike, what did I do? What is that? Oh, it gets rid of the... Well, we still get that. Ooh, we've got cars revving next to us, or a bike at least. Okay, and then what about all of this? A lot assign a crease to the edge. Looks like it does nothing. What about outer? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, that's probably about as much as you're actually going to offset material index. Ooh, dear me, set that back to zero. Alright, so it doesn't look like we're actually going to... Doesn't look like we're actually going to be able to get rid of this without applying, like we said, some form of draft angle. So it does look like it will go away if I bring that line up. So I still have my crease, but I've lost this. Now, same deal goes with how on my other car, you know, the other McLaren F1 that I showed, that the things were going through the window here. Now, it doesn't help that when I am doing the high poly thing, I'm placing this, placing like... Oh, hello there. That explains a lot. Why? I don't know, but it does. Whoa, that's neat. Well, here's the answer to our question on how this happens. Now, why does it happen? I don't know. However, actually, it probably goes along with what I said where the 
because this this whole sheet right here is now two pieces so while this these walls are coming in and colliding these two are now colliding pinching this and making this appear so that explains that but I don't want that at the moment but at least a way that if we are just you know just cranking this number out yeah we see it's all the way over here because our draft angle is already pretty good uh, what we want to do is we want to drop this and in compensation for us dropping it we need to bring it outward as well and there we just increased our draft angle and if I haven't said it already this type of formatting is for mold making now for 3d printing not as much however getting the file to work okay and blender apparently is something that we have to do now as for why in case that uh, what I just said is not the actual case um, that would be something I'd like to figure out at some point but for now I honestly have no clue so I think we'll end it right there uh, we know how to solidify and it works so I'll leave it there hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new doing quite a bit more blender stuff especially now that college has started back up so I'm away from the house so we're gonna have very little PlayStation but a lot of computer because I can just have the computer sitting in the car in the parking lot and then go inside and then upload it so yeah, it's going to be like this for a while. Probably, well, after this, then it's big boy time. Out, out to grab a proper job after college. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.